For many years, the only way to replace an abnormal cornea was to perform a penetrating keratoplasty, which means that we were removing the entire cornea and replacing it with a cornea obtained from a donor. With the advancement of uh, science, knowledge and technology, surgeons not noticed that in most cases in which they were replacing the entire cornea, only a small layer called corneal endothelium was in fact diseased and abnormal. So they started to develop new techniques uh, in order to try to replace only this small damage layer. One of the newest, uh, one of the newest technique uh, aimed to replace this endothelial layer is called decimate membrane endothelial keratoplasty, DMEC. In this technique, only the diseased endothelium is replaced by an endothelium by a normal endothelium obtained from a donor. This technique started in 2006 uh, in Europe and uh, so, so if we have now more than 10 years of follow-up of those first patients operated with great results. And all the studies showed that we have major advantages uh, with, in performing DMEG as opposed to penetrating keratoplasty. When we perform penetrating keratoplasty, we have to do a large incision of more than 10, 12, 14 millimeter. So it's an open eye. While in DMEC, we're working through a micro incision of 2.2 mm, and this gives us much faster recovery for our patient and a much better visual acuity. So the vision is way better after a DMEC as opposed to penetrating keratoplasty. Last but not least, whenever you do a graft, whenever you put a foreign body into your own body, there is always a risk of rejection. Your body might not accept this foreign body. So the rejection rate is way lower in DMEC as opposed to penetrating keratoplasty. All the studies show that in DMEC rejection rate is less than 1%, while it can be up to 10 and 15% after penetrating keratoplasty. We started this technique in the cornea division at uh, AUBMC back one year ago in January 2017. And I'm happy that one year after we have performed more than 70 cases with wonderful results uh, equivalent to what is obtained in major academic centers in Europe and the States. Surgical technique uh, is composed of two steps. The first step is the preparation of the graft and the second step is uh, insertion of the graft inside the eye and unfolding of the graft. And the second step of the surgery is inserting this, uh, this layer through a micro incision inside the patient eye and unfolding it. The ability, the ability to work with a brand new microscope equipped with intraoperative OCT technology um, is very helpful as it allows us to see this very thin layer of endothelium even through a cloudy cornea. And this is why we are able today in 90% of uh, keratoplasty indication to perform uh, DMEC or endothelial keratoplasty and not a penetrating keratoplasty.